You can read more about many of today's stories in the March issue of Mohawk Valley Living. The magazine is available for free the first of each month at hundreds of local shops and restaurants and online at mohawkvalleyliving.com. Tune in to the new MVL Marketplace, a local business billboard TV show featuring all of our advertisers, plus local trivia and music by local songwriters. Every Sunday at 8 a.m. and 11.30 p.m. on Fox 33. The Steet Ponte Auto Group in Yorkville and Herkimer and Turnbull Insurance Service since 1866 present Mohawk Valley Living, exploring the arts, culture, and heritage of our region. Good morning and welcome to Mohawk Valley Living. I am standing on the porch of a historic mansion. Can you guess where I am? It is one of the many places we're going to visit throughout the Mohawk Valley today, all the way from Rome to Little Falls. So uh, stay tuned. This month's magazine, Oneida County Historical Society trustee Janice Riley writes about the Lebanese experience in the Utica area, kicking off the Society's Ethnic Heritage Series this month. March kicks off our Ethnic Heritage Series programs, and every Saturday we have a program which focuses on a different ethnic community in Utica. Uh, the, uh, the Syrians, the Lebanese, uh, the, the Middle Eastern culture, the Arab Americans, uh, those, those are all um, the subject of different programs that we have. And what we're hoping to do is to draw in different elements of the community who might not realize that uh, the history that we hold here is, uh, is all about them. And uh, it's, it's our hope to, uh, to draw in people who might not otherwise uh, want to come to the Historical Society if they see something that which relates directly to their ethnicity. Hopefully they'll, uh, they'll come in and uh, have a good time and emerge uh, a, little, uh, a little more informed than they were when they came. Be sure to attend the Ethnic Heritage Series at the United County Historical Society in Utica, free and open to the public every Saturday in March at 1 p.m. One of the most popular displays we have, it's been up for several months now, is an exhibit of large-scale photographs of historic downtown Utica. These photographs are part of our collection of 30,000 images, and all of them were originally in black and white. But through the magic of digital technology, uh, one of our volunteers, Carl Saperito, spent time colorizing them using historically correct uh, colors for the cars and the clothes. And uh, the result is uh, a fantastic look, a really unique look into the past, something that wasn't uh, apparent when the uh, images were just seen black and white. People have come in, have remarked time and time again about how amazed they are at the, um, uh, at the quality of, of the, the colorized pictures and how all of the little details that you would have seen if you were walking down the street in 1910 now just pop out. So that's, that's been a, a great display for us. We're gonna have that up for uh, quite some time to come. When planning your family's future, turn to the principles of the past. Turn to Turnbull. Turnbull Insurance Service is an independent agency representing the most dependable companies for all your insurance needs as well as complete financial planning and wealth management. Call today for a free assessment. Come explore the new Newport Marketplace Top Notch Garden Center, featuring over 45 vendors of antiques and vintage items. You'll also find all your garden needs at the new Newport Marketplace Top Notch Garden Center on Main Street in Newport. Brenda's Natural Foods is the natural choice for healthy local products, gluten-free and gourmet foods, personal care and natural cleaning products. Brenda's Natural Foods, West Dominic Street in Rome. 
The Steet Ponte Auto Group is proud to bring Mohawk Valley Living to you each week, serving the Utica area and the Valley with outstanding customer service. In Yorkville at Steet Ponte Ford Lincoln Mazda, Steet Ponte Volkswagen, and Steet Toyota Scion. And in Herkimer at Steet Ponte Chevrolet. Stop in and see why it's so easy to do business with Steet Ponte. It's time to get your alpaca on during the huge winter clearance sale at Paca Gardens. 25% off alpaca sweaters, hats, mittens, blankets, socks, and alpaca fur products. And up to 50% off clearance items during the winter clearance sale at Paca Gardens, West Main Street in Little Falls. Sale ends April 30th. Meelan's Meat Market has your Easter specialties, like store-made hams and kielbasa, leg of lamb and roasts, featuring low-salt, low-fat smoked ham and kielbasa. Try their famous crown roast of pork or prime rib. Meelan's Meat Market, your one-stop shop at the Four Corners in Clark Mills. Call Elite Taxi, 338-9999. Serving Greater Rome and running 24-7 so you can too. Shop the 3,000 square feet spilling over with antiques at the Potting Shed. Specializing in American coins, costume jewelry, and fine jewelry. As well as early lighting, stoneware, china, and furniture. The Potting Shed, over 40 years in the same location at 52 Oriskany Boulevard in Whitesboro. Come see what's new for spring at the Village Crossing. Colorful fashions are arriving daily. Plus, huge discounts on winter. Make it go away. And make way for spring at the Village Crossing, West Park Row in Clinton. Candela's Farm and Greenhouses in Marcy is open March 23rd through Easter for beautiful Easter flowers like lilies, tulips, hyacinths, mums, hydrangeas, and azaleas. Candela's Farm and Greenhouses, River Road in Marcy. Get your tickets for the Crooked Road on Tour, celebrating the traditional mountain music of Southwest Virginia, Friday, April 8th at 7.30 p.m. at the Welland Hall Schombach Center for Music and the Performing Arts at Hamilton College. Tickets are $20 at the door or call the box office at 859-4331. The past few months, we've been working with the Oneida County Historical Society and some local gamers at UticaGames.com to develop a video game featuring local history and trivia. Leading the project is Vincent Whitney, a 2007 Clinton Central School grad who is combining his love of computers, education, and history to create the fun and fast-paced Utica Scramble. So in the game, the objective is to get as many points as possible the points you get from the coins as well as the different uh, local pieces of uh, cuisine such as half moon cookies and riggies and things like that. And you play as a small animated character and you jump around on different platforms which are actually uh, inspired by local uh, buildings and local architecture. And uh, the point of the game is to not only collect points but also to answer questions about local trivia. Game testing is still ongoing, but you can visit UticaGames.com to help us test the game and test your knowledge of Utica trivia and history. And have some fun, too. Our next stop is to visit with another creative person at the Rome Daily Sentinel. Published since the 1820s, the locally owned Sentinel is made up of a team of more than 50 people working to meet the daily deadlines. The team includes graphic designer and cartoonist Frank Page. For over 13 years, his cartoon, Bob the Squirrel, has been enjoyed by readers of the Sentinel and fans around the world. I've been drawing Bob for 14 years. Um, so right now he's a teenager <laughs> and a very, very passionate, stubborn, and any other kind of adjective I can think of teenager right now. But I love him to death. He's my best friend. The art show that I have going on in April is called Finding Bob. Uh, because I still haven't found him yet. After 14 years, you would think I would have found him. Uh, it's going to be opening on April Fool's Day, which is absolutely perfect. I totally planned it that way. And uh, it's basically going to be Bob in ways that I've never done Bob before, other than the, the single panels, multi-panel thing. He's going to be on canvas. He's going to be on styrofoam. He's going to be on everything. Basically, everything that I've never done with the squirrel, I'm going to do in this show. So that's what you mean by finding Bob? Yes, okay. yes. And um, why a squirrel? How did that all come about? And, and how has he stayed interesting to you for 14 years? Well, Garfield was already done, so the cat was already taken, so I couldn't do a cat. Uh, a squirrel just 
ran past my window one morning and I had my sketchbook out and it was just like Bruce Wayne seeing the bat and becoming Batman. I saw the squirrel and I started drawing a squirrel. Be sure to see the exhibit, Finding Bob, opening April 1st with a reception from 6 to 8 p.m. at the Artistry Gallery at 205 West Dominic Street in Rome. You can also follow the adventures of Bob the Squirrel every day in the Rome Daily Sentinel and every month in Mohawk Belly Living Magazine. For lunch, we head back to Utica to the brand new Mikasa restaurant. Owner Umberto Martinez and his wife and chef Luisa serve up traditional Caribbean cuisine made to order. They moved to Utica because they believe it is a place of opportunity. Vimos que en esta en esta Utica no había la esa categoría de comida. Mi esposa es la chef de de aquí de de mi casa restaurante. Tiene 22 años de experiencia en Santo Domingo y New York. Eh, gracias a Dios no, nos sentimos bien agradecidos con el pueblo de Yurica porque nos han dado una bienvenida, una calurosa bienvenida. Vimos que en Yurica eh, había muchas posibilidades y da, Yurica es un pueblo que da muchas oportunidades. Mi Casa Restaurant is open 10 a.m. to 11 p.m. daily except Wednesdays at 1315 Genesee Street in Utica. Read about the restaurant in this month's magazine. We head from the Caribbean to Europe to another new business located in Yorkville. Wicked Sweets is a French-inspired pastry shop. Pastry chef Alyssa Sadala specializes in specialty cakes, and people line up for her French macarons on Macaron Tuesdays. Once I graduated from New York Mills, I went to Utica College, and all throughout my time there, I was baking cakes and cookies for friends, then it went into friends and family, and then it kind of went on from there, and I knew this was something that I really wanted to do. But what were you studying at the time? I was studying business. Um, so that came in very handy, actually. Um, but once I was done with Utica, I decided to go to Le Cordon Bleu and get my degree in the baking and pastry arts. So I actually I moved to Orlando, Florida to do that and I lived there for a while and I worked for Disney and other little small places around there and then I actually got a really great opportunity for my externship. I got to move to North Carolina and work at the Pinehurst Golf Resort. Um, so I was a pastry chef there for a while and that was a fantastic opportunity. I learned so much and I, just, you came home. I missed home so Yay. much. So I was like, I, I need to come home. I need to be near family and friends. And I just wanted to do it. So I was like, let's just dive head in and <laughs> open up a place. And so now here you are almost a year into it. Um, what do you see for the future? Why, what keeps you coming to work and what keeps you inspired to do new, do new things? Um, honestly, I, I really just love everything about pastries. Um, every day I try to think of something new that I can do or come up with some new flavor idea, something that like I've never had before. And I'll try it out. And if it's a disaster, it's a disaster. But at least I had fun doing it. Um, but I mean, I'd love to expand one day and have a, a bigger cafe area and hopefully one day do a little bit of food. But that's way down the line. <laughs> Wicked Sweets is open Tuesday through Friday, 8 to 6, Saturday, 8 to 2, and Sunday, 9 to 2 at 12 Erie Street next to Club Monarch in Yorkville. Let's see. The Steet Ponte Auto Group is proud to bring Mohawk Valley Living to you each week, serving the Utica area and the Valley with outstanding customer service. In Yorkville at Steet Ponte Ford Lincoln Mazda, Steet Ponte Volkswagen, and Steet Toyota Scion. And in Herkimer at Steet Ponte Chevrolet. Stop in and see why it's so easy to do business with Steet Ponte. I love Mohawk Valley Living. We love Mohawk Valley Living. I love Mohawk Valley Living. Hey, I'm Genesee Joe, and I love Mohawk Valley Living. I love Mohawk Valley Living. Life, auto, business, home, and just about everything else for your insurance needs. Let Gates call help. And welcome back. Right now, the story is Smith Family, 257 Mile Joseph, right now.
come explore the new Newport Marketplace Top Notch Garden Center, featuring over 45 vendors of antiques and vintage items. You'll also find all your garden needs at the new Newport Marketplace Top Notch Garden Center on Main Street in Newport. Welcome to the Little Falls Antique Center in the shops at 25 West. Come on in and browse thousands of unique items that change on a daily basis. Shop for yourself or for someone else. We're open every day from 10 to 5. We look forward to your visit here at Historic Canal Place in Little Falls. Tom's Natural Foods is your connection to local farms for natural and organic fruits and vegetables, meats, eggs, cheeses, and other milk products at Tom's Natural Foods in Clinton, naturally. The people you know, the rock you love, and more songs per hour. 92.7 FM, The Drive, Central New York's locally owned independent rock station. You keep saying you're going to do something about your back and joint pain. Call Dr. Michael Tucherone, one of the area's only K-Laser Therapy chiropractors, the most advanced non-invasive treatment of acute and chronic pain. Call 853-6225 and embark on your wellness journey today. to the valley to the Herkimer County Historical Society at the Historic Four Corners in Herkimer. We talked to director Sue Perkins about her magazine article this month, The Lady Aeronaut of Frankfurt. Carlotta, well actually her name was Mary Breed Holly Myers, had married Charles Myers, and they were a couple that lived in eventually Frankfurt, New York. They were into uh, making hot air balloons and doing aeronautical experiments in their home up on the top floor. They made the hot air balloons there. There were doors at the end of either end of the house on the top floor, and so that's how they would lower the balloons down to the ground out the window. They lived in Frankfurt on Cemetery Street right next to the cemetery, Oak View Cemetery. Uh, the house is on the National Register. Uh, she, uh, Carlotta made her first balloon ascension in Little Falls in the 1880s. Oh, thousands would come out to watch a balloon ascension. There's a wonderful postcard that shows the uh, people on the front lawn of the balloon farm in Frankfurt just to watch the hot air balloons go up. They even uh, did, uh, there's some pictures showing in Utica in, a, in some park. I don't know what the park is, but they had balloon ascension there as, as well. They would go all over the area doing balloon ascensions. We head farther east to another historic building, the famous Overlook Mansion in Little Falls. New owners, Michael and Margaret Robertson, moved to the Mohawk Valley to raise their family and start a new business. As the new innkeepers of the historic 1889 Burrell Mansion, they have become involved in the community by hosting events open to the public. Well, my wife and I had a farm in western Pennsylvania. Uh, we, were, we were doing some greenhouse operations there and we were looking to kind of relocate our operation where we had uh, some school-age children, or seven and ten, and we were looking to relocate our operations before we had some teenagers on our hands. And uh, we're originally looking for a place to, to set up a greenhouse operation again, and looked at a number of places that had uh, gorgeous big farmhouses on them that would be great bed and breakfast if only they had the renovation done. And on our way to look at another, another place, we had seen this listing and stopped by and uh, just fell in love with the place. And because it had a bed and breakfast operation going already and the bulk of the renovations were done, uh, it was very attractive uh, to us. And we thought, well, maybe if we shift our focus just a little bit, um, you know, this might may, may be a good place for us to, for us to work out here. Uh, there's a very nice feel to the area. There's a good community spirit. We really loved it coming up and talking to people as we were looking at this place. And actually, since we've um, started the operations here back in October, uh, it's just been fantastic. We've, we've met some great people. Uh, we've had some, some great people come in and, and help us out with, with farm-to-table dinners and uh, some of the other businesses in town. They've been fantastic with their organizations. And actually, I've talked to some people, uh, a lot of people even uh, just outside the area here that have commented to me, you know, it just seems like Little Falls works well together. And we've, that's, that's what we found to be true, and we've, we're very pleased to, to become a part of that.
And well, you haven't even been here a year. We, we haven't even been here a year, but it's been a lot of fun so far, and we're really looking forward to doing a lot more in the future. On St. Patrick's Day, Thursday, March 17th at 5 o'clock, there's a farm-to-table dinner with live Irish music at the Overlook. And on Saturday, March 19th, there's Pasankia egg decorating. To learn more about upcoming events at the Overlook, visit overlookmansion.com. We head down from the Overlook to West Main Street and Fall Hill Bead and Gem. This destination jewelry and bead shop is also a favorite of rock collectors, showcasing a wide variety of stones, gems, and crystals from all over the world. We've been here since 2008, so it will be eight years this summer, and we have amassed a pretty impressive collection of all sorts of beads and gems and treasures, jewelry. Um, if I had to pick my favorite thing, what would it be? Probably the Herkimer Diamonds. <laughs> well, that was what brought you here, right? Yes, yes. yes we, were, we were brought from Pennsylvania, lured by the Herkimer Diamond crystals, and stayed for the ambiance. <laughs> is that one you have on your neck? It is, as a matter of fact. This is a, one that I drilled myself, and it's a pretty large one, and uh, it's going to be hard not to keep it. <laughs> yes. So you're surrounded by beads. Tell us where these beads come from. The beads are really fun. They come from all over the world. We have beads probably from every country in the world. We have beads that were made in the United States, beads that were made right in Little Falls, New York. We have beads from Nepal. We have beads from Tibet, all sorts of gemstones. Humans have been fascinated with beads and ornaments since pretty much the dawn of time. I always like to joke that as soon as, you know, we figured out how to make a fire, the next thing we did was pick up a bead and a rock and put a hole through it and make a bead out of it. Um, Beads are just, they have a really long storied history throughout time, you know, they've been used for royalty, they're used for celebrations, they're used for all sorts of things, and, you know, I think just as human beings, we just like pretty things and, and like to drape ourselves in adornment. And um, tell us what people can do here. They can buy finished jewelry or make their own. Yes, we have a wide selection of finished jewelry that is all hand-picked by us. We travel to the Tucson Gem Show and pick everything out by hand so you can be sure that it's good. And um, if you are feeling creative, you can come in. We have a large selection of tumbled stones that you can wrap or include in jewelry. Or we have millions of loose beads of all different sorts, shapes, and sizes that you can turn into pretty much anything you can think of. The Steet Ponte Auto Group is proud to bring Mohawk Valley Living to you each week, serving the Utica area and the Valley with outstanding customer service. In Yorkville at Steet Ponte Ford Lincoln Mazda, Steet Ponte Volkswagen, and Steet Toyota Scion. And in Herkimer at Steet Ponte Chevrolet. Stop in and see why it's so easy to do business with Steet Ponte. You go the extra mile for your small business and should expect the same from your insurance company. For over 140 years, Turnbull Insurance Service has been committed to local small business. For your commercial coverage, turn to the company ready to go that extra mile. Turn to Turnbull. Melrose Supermarket is your family hometown market. Known for their choice hand-cut meats, homemade breads, and fresh pastas and salads. Check out the weekly specials at Melrose Supermarket, East Main Street in Frankfurt. It's time to get your alpaca on during the huge winter clearance sale at Paca Gardens. 25% off alpaca sweaters, hats, mittens, blankets, socks, and alpaca fur products. And up to 50% off clearance items during the winter clearance sale at Paca Gardens, West Main Street in Little Falls. Sale ends April 30th. The people you know, the rock you love, and more songs per hour. 92.7 FM, The Drive, Central New York's locally owned independent rock station. Come explore the new Newport Marketplace Top Notch Garden Center, featuring over 45 vendors of antiques and vintage items. You'll also find all your garden needs at the new Newport Marketplace Top Notch Garden Center on Main Street in Newport. Expecting company? Just call Deansboro Superette. They prepare delicious Middle Eastern platters for any number of guests. Call 841-4377. 
Shop the 3,000 square feet spilling over with antiques at the Potting Shed. Specializing in American coins, costume jewelry, and fine jewelry. As well as early lighting, stoneware, china, and furniture. The Potting Shed, over 40 years in the same location at 52 Oriskany Boulevard in Whitesboro. To see what we can see Traveling round the Mohawk Valley Let's see it's March, and in the Mohawk Valley, that means the sweet season of maple syrup. We visit the fourth generation Tibbetts Maple Farm on Tibbetts Road in New Hartford, where the sugaring season is off to a good start. Last year we brought home 54,000 gallons of sap. We produced 1,040 gallons of syrup. Is that a typical year or was that more than usual? That was, uh, that was more than usual, but we're hoping to make more this year. So. We're hoping that's an average. Um, we've, uh, we have the possibility of making over 500 gallons of syrup in f before March. Wow, and then yeah. is March typically, tell us what March is usually? March for. is typi typically our best month, but last year we made more syrup in April than we did in March. Uh, typically it's March. Uh, last year um, we had seven or eight days of just craziness, um, but it just you just never know. Today, um, SAP didn't start really running until 3 o'clock this afternoon. Tibbetts Maple is busy boiling SAP for Maple Weekends, scheduled this year the weekends of March 19th and 20th and April 2nd and 3rd. Pick up the March issue of Mohawk Valley Living Magazine for a complete guide to local maple producers. Trouble singing. 